Hi there, I'm back with another video and in this video I just thought why don't I show you how to use Py installer in Windows to convert .py applications to .exe app applications. So first of all, why would you like to convert a .py to .exe extension? Well, there can be many reasons for that and the first reason that I can think of is that you may want to share your application that you have made with your friend or someone else and if they don't know about python and they don't have python in their system with all the libraries installed then they will have a hard time installing all those modules with python so an exe which is a executable application file is a standalone which does not need python with all the modules installed so you can think how helpful it is to what and dot py application to dot exe applications so that's what we're gonna be doing today so i've got the py installer documentation here and if you see windows requirements you can see that windows requires either py win32 model or py py win32 which both are the same I think and it also requires the pay file module so if you don't have the all these modules in your system already then while installing py installer with pip install py installer it will install those so you don't have to worry about that so first of all install py installer with pip install py installer and that is as simple as that and once you have that just go to the folder in which you have your application i have mine in the in this application sum up which is a pi game pi game game that i created a while ago so another thing i, I would like to tell you that it is recommended that you use a uh, virtual env environment to package applications and install specific modules for that application so if you don't know what a virtual env is then don't worry about that too much because as i've observed it also works without using an env but it is recommended that you as you use a virtual env to introduce you to my game that i created i'm gonna just get the sound down a little bit and then i have this in the main.py file which is the initialization file let's open it up and you can see that it opens up as a game now let me press p to play then there is a prologue that you can see space to continue and it fires like that and then I, we have some power ups here we have some power ups oh look let me change the spaceship here i have the yes the spaceship change so let me close that up it is not a pi game tutorial now what I would like to do is first open a command window here so for that there are many things so what I would like to do is I would like to do shift plus control shift plus right click and then open command window here what you can do is you can simply say pi installer and then the name of the script that starts your application so mine is main.py main.py then press enter and it should say some things and then it will package it all right guys so as you can see it has co completed the process successfully and let me close it up we have some new folders in here so I would recommend you go into the folder called dist and in the main you can see there are a lot of files over there some are .dll files and what you can do is you can grab all these using control x and then you can paste it right over here so that it can get the dependencies that I've put in here such as this wallpaper image that you can see over here 
and then what I would like to do is I would like to test if it runs so for running it we have a main.exe file here as you can see it is a bit small now execute it and it should run fine now here is a game as you can see now press P to play then space and it comes up pretty nice so as you can see it is working let us close it and another thing I would like to do is I would like to get a shortcut of this so so do so we do not have to find it in all of these folders so I'd like to create a shortcut and then cut that shortcut then I would like to put all this in a separate folder called master I can't think of anything else put all of this and then I will have to get this shortcut and paste it in here so so if you distribute this folder to someone else he can just come in here and then run this main.exe shortcut and get the game running as you can see and it works fine sorry I've got to play that now let us check how much space it occupies on our disk and that is a lot of space over there but why did that happen why did that take a lot of space in there well that happened because it got all the libraries that I have installed and it created all the dependencies for that so you can reduce the space I believe by using a virtual environment so I will create a separate video on how to create virtual environments and how to work with that I didn't do that in this video just to keep the length of the video short I hope you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up